Hello, in this video we will going to show you how you can do an easy setup on VPS. So let's get started. Previously we had uh, easy setup on DigitalOcean, but this turned out to be a bit complicated both for us to do the updates regularly and both for the clients. So we came up with a more, uh, I think, easy for us solution that uh, we will do regular updates and we call it easy setup on a virtual private server. So the logic here is that there will be an installation script that will be run for you. And at the end, you get the easy uh, setup website, which is like a control panel of installing your uh, React App Builder. So let's start with the requirements first. Like before, the requirements of a virtual private server will be to have at least two gigabytes of uh, RAM. And this is required because it needs Expo needs the this kind of uh, this uh, minimum uh, memory of RAM just to compile the apps. Otherwise, it will not get compiled. So please take note that it's at least two gigabytes of RAM. And here we suggest time for VPS. Here you can see a link, and it costs around four uh, around four dollars per month, which is one of the cheapest. Uh, virtual private server I think available then you will need a Firebase database so here you have instructions on how you should set up everything so please follow this and I already have done this here is my database it's empty my functions are empty but they are initialized which is the important thing okay and then Let's go to the next requirement, which is two Expo accounts. And here there is information why you need these two Expo accounts. One is for the app preview and is the other one is for the building. So we already have created that and in this demo we will use only one. Uh, then we will need domain name, uh, any kind of domain name pointed to your VPS and Take a note that both your uh, main domain and subdomain should be pointed to, to the correct VPS, to the correct IP address. I have already done this in, a, in a time for VPS. So time for VPS is my DNS manager. And I have pointed uh, appbuilderonline.com uh, to be my uh, how do I say my domain name provider? Uh, so this is my uh, app builder online. Um, how do I say DNS page where I have my app builder pointing to my server. So these are A records. I'm planning to use also uh, need VVV. And I plan to install the app builder on make that app builder that online. So this is something you need to done in front, or you can do it of course later. And uh, this this will be my uh, this is my vir uh, virtual private server IP address. Uh, so I'm going back to my one second. So I'm in my uh, details of my virtual private server. I can see the IP address here. So this is the IP address I have pointed my domain to. And as you can see, it has two gigabytes of memory and it's just a fresh install, install of CentOS 7. Uh, and this is pretty much all. It needs to have at least uh, CentOS installed and that's all. In time for VPS is really easy. All you need to do is on the initial, just select the version that you want and it will be installed okay so let's get back here the main name i will need sendgrid account uh, sendgrid is used to send emails to my clients that will make uh, the app so your client will get the link to the apk file via via email so it's required for you to create a, an account there and to verify your domain and then, of course, you need to invent a purchase code, which is the purchase code you got, you got when you buy our uh, software. 
and let's get started with the installation. So we have already done this. We have install CentOS 7 on our VPS. It's CentOS 7 and we're ready to go to the next step, which is connect to our server. So I need to run SSH root at, and I should use my IP address here, which I can get from here. Okay. And now I'm asked, uh, do you want to continue? Yes. And now I'm asked for the password. My, my password is here in login details. So I will copy this password and I'm logging. So I'm logged in now inside uh, my server. And if I run pvw, I will get that I'm in the root folder, which is okay and, and how it should be. The next step I need to do is execute this command. And in fact, this is all it needs in order to get started with the install. So you press here on enter and you will be asked to enter your uh, purchase code from Envato. If you enter an invalid code, you will get, for example, one, two, three, you will get this message. Your purchase code was incorrect. So please take note to paste your code correctly. I will execute once again this command. And this time I will enter a correct uh, purchase code. As soon as I have entered my correct uh, purchase code from Code Canyon for the React App Builder, uh, it will start automatically installing all the dependencies that we need. So it will get the source code, install all the needed dependency, and uh, create the HTTP service, which is for the websites, and a lot of other things. So this will take around 15 to 20 minutes or maybe uh, less, but meanwhile, we have a link here to buy us uh, Rakia. Please take a look at what's Rakia. And after that, after some time, you will be asked to enter your Firebase credentials to, in, uh, to log in with your Firebase um, database. So just follow the on screen instruction and everything will be all right. I will pause the recording for now. And I will get back when uh, Firebase asks me to log in and I will show you how that's done. Okay, as said before, uh, after some time of the installation, uh, the script will start to ask me questions. And the first question to ask me is whether I want Firebase CLI to, to get any reporting information. I will say no to this. And now I need to log in in Firebase and the method to do this is to copy this link that will be provided and uh, using it, go to your browser and paste it. Log in with the, the same account that you uh, have created your database with. So I have this one and I will copy the provided code and I passed it here. After, and I press enter and after that I'm logged in in Firebase. Uh, after this, you will see uh, information the server setup is done. And then uh, now you need to open your browser in your server IP uh, or port 5002. Okay, so I will do that. I will copy my, uh, how do I say, IP address. And this is my IP address. And I will go here uh, on port 5002. Okay, and this is my wrap uh, React Hub Builder uh, setup page, web installation page. And in, here I need to enter my uh, email, my administrator email. So in this case, uh, if, if you follow the guide of setting up our Firebase database, you should have a authentication user here. And this is my admin user. So I will put this admin email here, then I will enter my purchase code and then um, is this a fresh install? I will say no. Uh, yes, it's a fresh install, so I'm starting from fresh. Do I need a landing page? Uh, so if you don't need a landing page, you can obviously skip that. And 
here I'm entering my domain, which uh, is a builder dot online. As I said, I have already uh, pointed this domain to my uh, DNS, to my server. And for the subdomain, I need to, I will use make, and I have also made this CNAME record in my uh, DNS provider to point to my IP address. So appbuilder.online and that make that appbuilder.online. After the domain is centered, I need to go about the preview app information. So my preview app, I will name it um, Mogidonia preview app. preview of description I will enter something right is this setup for the expo preview user I will use mobidonia expo preview password is apple preview I will select an image an icon have I logged in, in Firebase CLI yes I have it Firebase project ID is this one here, you can copy those information from here. Project settings, and you, you need to add a web app. Here you have all the information, like the API keys here. Firebase, up oh, here, Firebase API key. So this is the correct one, okay. Then Firebase app ID is this one. And the project ID, which is this one. The project ID is here. Okay, that's correct. Send grid account. As I said before, it's used to send emails. So I will use, and I have verified domain appbuilder.online. So I will use that one app builder, apps .appbuilder online, .appbuilder online, And I have my send grid previously set up. Expo build username, and I will use my existing um, preview username. So Movidonia and app preview. Okay, Google Maps API key. Uh, here are information on how to register Google Maps API key. If you haven't uh, registered it and verified your domain there, the Google Maps plugin will not show correctly. So I will just enter demo data here. TinyMCI is the editor. So if you haven't registered this correctly, you will get a message that the editor, the HTML editor inside your builder is not, uh, this domain is not verified. So also for this demo, you use some demo data. Okay, appears all the information is centered correctly and I need to click on submit. Uh, after I click on submit, the React App Builder setup will start an installation process and you will, not, you will not need to do anything until it reaches 100%. So what it does, it uh, starts to set up all the, um, all the scripts that we previously installed and it configures to work with your uh, entered information. So I, it has already set the image for the preview app, uh, has, has written all the necessary files, all the configurations, and the steps that now is working on is uploading cloud functions. So it will compile your cloud function and upload on, on, on the Firebase database, Firebase project. And I will pause the video now because it uh, will take uh, around five to 10 minutes, depending how fast is your server, but uh, it will do also creating all your preview app, which takes a bit of time. So after that, you will see 100% and uh, informations about your install. So I will pause the video now and uh, we'll tune in later. Okay, after some time, you will get this, should get this installation complete screen when you, where you can see installation details and the first thing you will notice you will link to your landing page so i can open the landing page and it's uploaded up online 
And here you have your own landing page on your domain. On the Start Now button, it will open the app producer and you can able, you will be able to log in as an administrator with the uh, admin email you provided and the one that, and the password you have placed here in notification. Please check your database and here you will see your, your functions. So all the functions that the app builder needs in database, you will see your data. It should be something like this. And it should be really a fully functional um, app builder. Here are your settings. You will be able to manage your uh, landing page and also the pricing. But this is also explained here how you can integrate payments and how you can manage your landing page. On this link, you will find your preview app. Here it is. And this is the preview app used for previewing the project made in uh, your app builder. So that's it for the installation of that uh, app builder. I think it's really easy and we tried to make it as simple as possible for you. Uh, thanks for watching.